Well, our moms think we're funny. Hey, everybody. This is Turk182. Hey, I'm a Comey. How's it going? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. You doing good? I'm doing okay, yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah. I'm loose. <laughs> Foot loose? I gotta get loose. <laughs> and kick off my Sunday shoes. Um, Louise, Louise. Get down up. Oh, sorry. I was, uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I always, I always have to take things too far. Just a little bit too far. Okay. Um, so, uh, so hey, welcome to Our Moms Think We're Funny. Yeah. Wow. You know, we haven't actually dropped the name of the podcast like the past couple times that we've that we've actually like said, oh, hey, we're doing a, you know, we're, here we are with our show. We, we're yeah. like, yeah, we're just get, you know, just jump right into it. Let's go. <laughs> um, well, people know by now. I hope so. I mean, it is like the title that they clicked on. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, dear podcast people, your moms are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and they are so wrong. Not sure if you've been told that before, <laughs> but they are wrong. Numerous times, actually. Um, so, um... So we were sitting here and uh, watching uh, the Avengers, Marvel's Avengers, the, the the first movie. Yeah. And just kind of getting into the groove of it, and it actually made me think about something I want to talk about for uh, you know for the podcast. Cool. Yeah. I have no idea what our topic is, so uh, I'm I'm ready to be wowed. Okay. Um. So uh, you know, as we were talking, um, and I've I've made no secret of this. Uh, talk about it several times, you know. Um, I love me some Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow, man. I oh, love yeah. me some Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> she is so hot. She is very, very hot. Um, and uh, and uh, I, you know, we were, we were watching this thing. We were she was doing her deal, and I was, just, I was like, oh man, Gwyneth Paltrow, she's so hot, dude. Love her so much. And I and I said to you, you know, um, it's a, it's a damn shame she's crazy. Yeah. yeah, and you were like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, "I'm like, yeah, she's kind of crazy." Like you were like, "Oh, well, you know, she can't be so crazy that I would turn her down." I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, it's like, but you have no idea how low my standards are." <laughs> I was like, "I was like, yeah, I was like, you say that, but I don't really think you understand how crazy she is." Now, in saying that, again, I, I, I still, I like Gwyneth Paltrow. I, I still think she's hot, and, you know, and I do, I do though think that she is quite cuckoo for cocoa puffs, right? <laughs> Yeah, but those jean shorts and bare feet. Yeah, and that white blouse, man, in that in that opening scene. So all that being said, though, um, uh, next time I get paid, I can't do it right now because I need seventy five dollars, and I don't have seventy five dollars that I can spend because I got to pay bills and stuff too. Right, right? right. So, and like I'm completely broke. Like I don't have seventy five dollars, but I don't have seventy five dollars that I can just spend on you know anything. Like just you know. Freely, frivolously, yeah, some, yeah. somewhat frivolously, um, and so I. But next time I get paid, uh, I seventy five dollars. Uh, I need seventy five dollars. Well, I'm going to spend seventy five dollars on something that that is very important to me. Okay, what is it? Um, so it's kind of like the Matrix. You're buying the Matrix for seventy five dollars, dude. I, How many I, times I have I told you about these internet deals? Dude, I won it in an auction. I just gotta, just gotta pay for it now. Okay. Well. Uh, uh, but no, um, I didn't. It's like the Matrix, as in I can't tell you. You have to see it for yourself. Okay. So if you wouldn't mind just taking a moment and um, googling. Uh, this isn't going to be some blue waffles thing, is it? No, God, I wouldn't <laughs> dare do. I wouldn't I'd dare do that to you. I'd give a lemon party for seventy five dollars. No, if you would mind googling um, Gwyneth Paltrow candle, All right? And then you can just tell our, our listeners uh, what you find there. Okay, I'm opening a new tab here. Oh my God, my phone overheard you. As soon as I hit the letter G, the top thing was Gwyneth Paltrow candle. Okay, so what what do you, what do you have there? Uh, holy shit! Why is uh, top top thing is the Guardian's uh, news article? 
Why is Gwyneth Paltrow selling a candle that smells like her vagina? And that's why I need $75. Please please continue on, Akomi. Uh, well, at the top of this article, there is an image of the candle that says, This smells like my vagina. Go on. <laughs> uh, ask Hadley. Why is Gwyneth Paltrow selling a candle that smells like her vagina? Gwyneth has made a candle called This Smells Like My Vagina for her, wen- for her website, Goop. And, of course, it is sold out. Well, I... As of six days ago. What? So, sorry Son to... Of a bitch! Sorry to disappoint you. <clears throat> so... So, that's uh, not fair. People that can afford to, like, land a woman like Gwyneth Paltrow, they can just go and buy her candle. People like me that need that fucking candle, and I gotta <laughs> work hard for it, it's already sold out. I bet you some asshole right now on eBay selling it for, like, two fifty. Probably doesn't even appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, apparently, uh, shit at both ends. so apparently Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina has birthed discussions of vaginal steaming, vaginal jade eggs, $15,000 dildos, something called sex dust, and a photo of Gwyneth standing in a giant vagina to advertise some inevitable Netflix documentary slash reality TV series crossover. Um, okay. Go on. So, yeah, she has this candle. Um, according to this, it is, uh, actually 58, uh, British pounds. Um. Well, her pussy weighs that much? Which was, uh, apparently what the sex dust cost, which we discussed the sex dust. I remember that. Did we? I think we did. It sounds really familiar. Like, I, I don't feel like I would just stumble across the term sex dust anywhere else. <clears throat> I don't know, but go ahead. Uh, the sex dust is also sold out, so we're kind of shit out of luck with that. Um, I have shit out of luck with everything. So, whoa, what? So, according to this, some aspect of Gwyneth's vagina problem cost her one hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. This was in two thousand eighteen when her near notorious wellness company Goop was fined under California's civil penalties laws for making what was described as unsubstantiated marketing claims about the aforementioned jade egg. Uh, It turns out, incredibly, that shoving a random object up your vagina won't balance hormones, regulate menstrual cycles, prevent uterine prolapse, and increase bladder control. Uh, Ladies, that's not true. My dick will do all those things. (laughs) Just shove it right on up in there. Um, You're gonna gonna get sued for $145,000, Turk. It, only if they can prove that it doesn't work. And, and you can't, you you can't commit to a seventy five dollar candle right now. So <laughs> only if you can prove that it doesn't work. And the only way you can prove <sighs> that my dick does not do that stuff is to try it for yourself. <laughs> hey, uh, Frank Thomas can sell those fucking like sawdust pills and say that it makes him big and strong. Then I can sell my dick and say that it'll cure what ails you. And trust me, <laughs> it will. It's got what plants crave. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a Turk 182's dick, you're great. <laughs> can, we, can we do a commercial with like female Olympians training for the Olympics? <laughs> uh, okay, and here a, a noted gynecologist, Dr. Jen Gunter, which is really funny because this is all about a jade egg. Yes. Ready Player One refers to the people hunting for the Easter egg in the Oasis as ah. as Gunters. Yes, they uh, are. They are Gunters. Good job. She stated that this might cause toxic shock syndrome, but it's still on sale on Goop.com for sixty British pounds. Uh, the only words next to it on the site are "eggs are pre-drilled for string add-on," and we recommend using unwaxed dental floss. Uh, so we can still get the jade egg, which is going to be extremely useful for two people with no vaginas between them. Yeah, and I don't think that that works um, anally. <laughs> don't want to shove a jade egg up my ass. I didn't say I wanted to. I was just saying I don't think it works that way. <laughs> I mean, you just said for guys that don't have vaginas. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I don't have vagina. And I don't think it works, you know. So I'm just... I'm Dear basically, Gwyneth, <laughs> will this egg work anally? <laughs> 
It's like when people were like, when you tell somebody, I'm sorry, I don't think that works. It's like, oh, yeah, well, you could always try this. I'm just getting it out of the way. But like, I think it only works one way. Uh, this says that Goop is a quasi-religion in itself from its messianic head figure, its deluded self-belief, its ludicrous claims, and its overflowing bank account accrued from the desperate and vulnerable, estimated to exceed $250 million. Uh, which, of course, begs the question, what does Gwyneth's vagina smell like? According to the candle, it is a funny, gorgeous, sexy, and beautifully unexpected scent. It'll probably be the closest thing I'll ever get to heaven. <laughs> a mix of geranium, citrusy bergamot, and cedar. Absolutes juxtaposed with damask rose and ambrette seed. Oh, and that's, that, that's everything I thought that her pussy would smell like. That was like my first go-to. <laughs> I mean, that and sandalwood. I was like, I just, I just imagined that her pussy would smell like that and sandalwood. Hmm, needs more sandalwood, Gwyneth. Needs more sandalwood. Like, and just a hint. Hmm, is that like a is that is that citrus bergamot? Mm. Oh, oh my goodness, this is fantastic. No, 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 there's, there's definitely some ambrette seed I'm tasting here. Okay, so, so this, this is your first time hearing about this, yes? Yeah. Except I, I know I've heard about the sex dust. I don't remember what I heard about it, but I heard about it. Um, but we must tread carefully here because Gwyneth does not like people questioning her vagina. Uh, in 2017, pre-legal case, in response to Dr. Gunter's repeated criticisms, Goop posted a gorgeously huffy reply, which Gwyneth tweeted with the comment, When they go low, we go high. Okay. Yeah. Goop's, quote, contributing doctors, unquote, described Dr. Gunter as strangely confident, to which Dr. Gunter replied, I am appropriately confident, which is a really good response. <laughs> and they insisted that they're empowering women by questioning the status quo. Uh, okay. So, um... <clears throat> so, that's all very strange. I'll give you that. Yes, it is. And it, that's why I was like, you know, um, she's kind of crazy. And you're like, ah, she couldn't be so crazy that I wouldn't. Would you like to take a moment to uh, rephrase your statement? I would never get into a long-term relationship with somebody like that. But I would absolutely hook up with her. I'm going to tell you, from a guy who's got a number of crazy notches on his dick you you you, you don't you really do it may sound like at the time but like oh it's just it's never just it's never just it, it isn't just just don't yeah i know people have told you like don't stick your dick in crazy like yeah 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 well you know you also told me to stick my dick in a blender but you know that worked out okay eventually no <laughs> No, no. I'm going to tell you right now, a blender or a microwave is better than crazy any day of the week. Just man, don't I... do it. Don't do it. But it's Gwyneth Paltrow, man. It is Gwyneth so Paltrow. so hot. And that's why I'm glad that candle exists because that's as close as I need to get. Yeah, but what if you manage to get this rare elusive candle that is now sold out and like you, you just like get a good whiff there? And you realize this is not something you can do without. Okay, so that goes into stage two of my plan. <laughs> so if we go back about... You're going to drill a hole in the candle and fuck it instead. <laughs> I don't actually need to go that route. Uh, if we go back uh, six or eight episodes back... Um, actually, no. Uh, yeah, six or eight episodes back when we talked about um, our robot sex dolls. You're, you're oh. back on that shit. No, no, no. no. Oh, hey, 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 hear me out here. Okay? So. I'm listening. I get my robot sex doll. I burn my candle. I'm fucking with Paltrow. Do you really think she'd be this non-responsive talking sex doll? Again, she's crazy as shit. And it doesn't matter. It smells like her. In my mind, it's her. I'm good. I don't know. Hey, look, man. I love you like a brother, dude. But um, I'm, I'm trying to warn you. If you want to do that, then by all means. You can tell me all about it. But when shit goes wrong, and it will, 
You know that I am the kind of person... You know there's people Bold out of there... you to assume that I'm not just going to ghost her. <laughs> okay, okay. She, with, with $250 million, like, company or whatever, like, she's not going to find you. Oh, pfft. Mr. None of our fans can find us, Turk. They're people who want to find us. Mr. I don't mind using my real name in a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, okay, there are people out there that will, when you do something wrong, they'll be they'll be like, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. I'm going to tell you right now, when shit goes wrong, I am one of those people. Oh, I know. And I will be right there and be like, <laughs> like I told you so, I fucking told you so. And well, you kept saying, don't tell me to do my job, puppet. And I'm like, <laughs> I told you so. At the same token, as soon as your sex robot messes up a servo Again, and kicks into maximum my, overdrive. My, my, my sex robot doesn't have to have servos in it. What kind of robots are you thinking of? Do you think it's just going to be a piece of rubber with a hole in it? It's, it's got the word robot in it. It's gonna... No, if you, you add the word robot, it's got the word doll in it. <laughs> Doll, la, 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 la. So then you would basically just have a fuckable mannequin? Pretty much, yeah. Why? It's a real relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not arguing with that. I'm just saying, I can't handle a fuck robot. When you put emotions in it, I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson, danger, danger. <laughs> and again, again, why do you think I'm single, right? <laughs> I don't know, but okay. Let me let me turn this around to. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, before before we do that, I'm just gonna ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah, seventy five dollars burn a hole in your pocket. Okay. Candles on sale. No. Nah. <laughs> Good. Now I have to worry about competing with you for the for the for the candle. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I I have no interest in smelling a citrusy candle. It's not just a citrusy candle. Well, it clearly smells like Gwyneth's vagina. Thank you. Fun and sexy, according to that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, let me let me turn this around because I know one of your all-time favorite movie starlets who you would just take a bullet for would be Audrey Plaza, right? Well, I don't know if I would take a bullet for her. <laughs> uh, you have talked more about her than than probably ninety eight percent of the women that we've talked about. Uh, no, that's not true. Probably think, 98. I think I've talked about Tilda Swinton a lot more than I've talked You've about talked her. You've talked about Tilda Swinton a lot. She's crazy, too. What? Dude, she's she's a weird chick. But I'm, I'm going to stick with Aubrey Plaza because I've seen some interviews with her recently. She is a weird freaking chick. Oh, yeah, she's definitely weird. And she's crazy. Uh-huh. And you can see it in her eyes. So you're saying you wouldn't go for her? Yeah, but she's got sexy, crazy eyes. I'm just saying. She's got sexy, crazy eyes. So, you just have a double standard here. <laughs> no, okay, Aubrey Plaza is not, is not, like, shopping around, like, weird-ass shit saying it's gonna help save people's lives by sticking eggs in their vagina. It's gonna give them superpowers. Uh, you don't know that. She might be. <laughs> she might be. She could be. You don't know that. Well, if, you, well, if she is, she's doing a really bad job because nobody's talking about it. I'm just saying, you can't, like, you can't universally prove a negative. This is my this is my real problem. And this is why I didn't just rush out and be like, I don't need lights right now. All I need is my Gwyneth Paltrow pussy candle, right? <laughs> is that the reason I didn't do it is because where's the proof? That's seriously what held you back from this? Right, that's... Because if, if I'm buying if I'm buying a candle that smells like the best part of Gwyneth Paltrow, <laughs> other than her hair, which I think her hair would probably have like a jasmine lavender scent to it, I, I can uh, see that. Um, the best part of 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 her, but I need to know that it's real. Other, if nothing that, then I could just be like huffing paint thinner and be like, mm, this smells like Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> right? But I need to know that it's real, and the thing is, I don't. There's no way of proving it. There's no it, way of proving that that it's real. Uh, in your experience, do vaginas typically smell like orange citrus and seeds? Okay, you're talking about a guy who's like, doesn't have like a lot of experience with that kind of stuff. So, you know, just because I've smelled two and none of them have, <laughs> they, they, I mean, you're just like, it'd be 
one thing if, if I had like a ton of experience, but like, yeah, you know, I had like a hundred women I fucked and everything. There's been like a good like 60% of them that smelled like that or something close to it. So, so you're saying that it's possible that up to 60% of vaginas smell like orange citrus and seeds. Not just that. There was one that I had that, there was one chick that I went, she smelled like, like grape, like grape nuts and berries, but I mean, <laughs> you know, Tromex Linda. <laughs> You know her too? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the way she won me over, she was like, you know what? People always want to put raisins and peanuts and, you know, maybe some pretzels in trail mix. And then she, like, kind of ran her finger, like, down my chest. She goes, but every trail mix needs a little bit of chocolate. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. I became like an instant compass this way north, <laughs> if you get my meaning. <laughs> Trail Mix Linda, oh my god, baby, I miss you so much. <laughs> Trail Mix Linda. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, I'm just saying, I just if you if you're gonna I just need to know for a fact that what I'm buying is the genuine product. I mean, so, cause because you can say that about anything, right? So let's say that I was like, okay, here's the Turk 182 drink, and Turk 182 drink, you know, it mm, tastes just like my dick. <laughs> I mean, there's only there's only three other people, uh, three people other than myself that can actually validate that. Yeah, I said it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you have pulled up on TV, but this is weird. It's not weird. He is trying to drown... They're, they're both trying to drown this naked woman. Well, she got away. <laughs> just totally skipped the footage, but... Well, I just put something on that we weren't supposed to comment on, but it'd just be... I, oh, on well, I'm, I'm sorry. It was all fine until they started holding this naked woman's head under the water. <laughs> uh, this is called Real Exposure. It's a bunch of, like, B-movies and exploit exploitation movies... That had been like cut down to like three minutes a piece, narrated <laughs> by like Robert Carradine. Oh, okay. Or... Well, sorry to have uh, shattered the illusion that we're uh, 100% focused on this, but. And whatever this is, it, I mean, it looks like it was like recorded on the VHS. Yeah. Because you saw, is... you saw the, the, this guy like, such a like grain and stuff in it. Anyway, oh, yeah. I'm just saying, uh, obviously, you'd never heard about the Gwyneth Paltrow thing. Yeah, no, hadn't, hadn't heard of it. I did hear about the sex dust, and I don't remember what the details were on that. Now, but... do, you, do, you, do you snort that, or do you. Is it. Okay, um... please, please tell me, please tell me the sex dust comes in like a, a jar with a cork top, <laughs> and, and it's kind of like. Like a reddish in color, I think it was pink and glittery, if I remember right. Nice. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, I could be wrong about that. I'm not pulling that back up on my phone. Um, but I'm pretty sure that was pink and glittery, and I think you were just supposed to like sprinkle it in liquid or something. Is the chemical name for it DL eighty three? Yeah, it makes the hatred come out of your face. <laughs> Why is there so much hatred coming out of his face? They're, therefore making you more attractive, you know? 911, what's your emergency? There's a guy laying here. He's got hatred all over his body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there's hatred everywhere. It won't come off. I keep trying to wash it off of the sink and it won't come off. Um, But, yeah, no, I mean... If, if I were, like, in the market for a long-term girlfriend and were thinking, you know, here's somebody I want to spend, you know, years of my life with just, you know, having wonderful moments, I would not go with somebody who runs a cult, like, demi-medicinal, like, hoodoo-voodoo witchcraft website called Goop that encourages stuffing, like, jade eggs up your Gucci Main. <laughs> okay. Sorry. What I'm saying is... a rapper, is, his name is Gucci Mane. So. Gucci Mane, okay. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that if someone as attractive as Gwyneth Paltrow were to come up to me in the whole get-up that she has on in that opening scene in Avengers with the white semi-transparent blouse and the jean shorts and the bare feet and the legs for days... Pretty sure I'd go for a one-night stand there. Okay. And would 
probably ask questions about the insanity later. I'm just saying, if she's that nuts, which it sounds like she is, and and again, I I, I, I do she she fuels my engine, you know. Uh, but if she's that nuts, which it sounds like she is, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's possible to do a one night stand. If she chooses you, then there's a reason in her mind, <laughs> you know. It's it's not just like oh I just need a little something. She's like oh no, there's a reason why I chose you. I mean, she just have to realize I'm not from Havana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's gonna give you a little of that sex dust, and you know, I just, I, I just saying. I mean, that's uh, I I couldn't do it, man. I just could not do it. I mean, I I did. I love as as much as I dig her, man. I do. I just I could not do it. Well, more for me. Yeah, unfortunately so. But you know what? I don't mind just hearing all about it. Uh, okay. So yeah, you can go and and, and when you when you're calling me from the cult, be like, Turk, I, I only have a little bit of time if they find I'm making this phone call. Come get me! Come get me! <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, Sorry, ma'am, wrong number. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't leave you. Hanging. She said she was going to drain the hatred out of my dick. I don't know what that means. <laughs> You're like, all right, I'm coming. Just, just, just grab all your stuff. Put as many candles as you can in the bag. <laughs> just leave me at the back door. <laughs> I'm on my way. Call me. That, that's how you'll know it'll be trouble. Is when I call you, I'm like the candle was alive. <laughs> it's not citrus. It's not citrus. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there might be some seed there, but no citrus. Oh. So, yeah, I when I heard the story, and I was like, "This is no, no, this is this is crazy. This can't be real." And and I think what's funny is now I think it's been purported that it smells like uh, her vagina. Yeah, and I think she's just like it's like you know I think the name of the candle is like hey it smells like my vagina right and not really supposed to be like oh yeah we had scientists come in and you know oh, and we, they, they used equipment and you know we and, extracted essence of Gwyneth <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness that'd be a great name for the candle that's what essence, it should be essence of Gwyneth <laughs> instead of this smells like my vagina exclamation point <laughs> I wonder if they'll carry that in Target <laughs> Gwyneth Gwyneth Paltrow's pussy candle I doubt it. <laughs> Uh, that's that's the close second for the for the naming convention. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. I can can you imagine the commercial for that? I wanna make I wanna make that commercial. Be like <laughs> I was like uh oh, wow, your house just smells wonderful. It's so inviting in here. <laughs> and it's like you know, it smells like Smells like my vagina? Yeah, it does. And like the guy sitting there like, what? How do you know what her vagina smells like? <laughs> and she's like, she's like, yes, I bought it at the store. And she pulls out the candle. Smells like my vagina. And it's like, oh, wow. And, and then at the end, as they're leaving the house and everything, he's like, wow. He's like, it smells like my vagina. It smells as good as it tastes. And the husband's eyes get all wide again. <laughs> What, why am I hearing, like, shitty stock sitcom sound effects? But wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's that's a weird one. That's that's a weird one. Uh, but, but it smells like my like, vagina candles. <laughs> also on the market, tastes like my anus cookies. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a name. <laughs> They're not really cookies at all. <laughs> oh God, no, no. Oh, oh, you're okay with when it smells like my vagina, like candle, but her, but her, it like tastes like my ass cookies. You're like, no, I don't want any part of that. I just want to fucking go home. <laughs> I, I want no part of eating ass, okay? That's all I'm saying. I mean, call, call me an old soul, call me a boomer, but I've just I I don't want any part of eating ass. Uh, okay, does it matter if it what 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 if what if you had some syrup to go with it? <laughs> no, man, I'm not Canadian. Or jelly? Well, no. 
You sure? Uh, it's all pretty gross, dude. Mm. Okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know the whole the whole toss salad guy, yeah. right? Because <laughs> when you eat an ass, you know you eat an ass. <laughs> Which I think we talked about that once before. Yeah, which I, it was uh, during one of our injustice playthroughs. Oh yeah, because because uh, yeah, because I was actually t- we were talking about Aubrey Plaza and Audrey Hepburn, not Audrey Hepburn, um, Anna Kendrick, mm. and. Uh, and weirdly enough, Ryan Reynolds, which was what I think spurred oh, that comment. Yeah, on. yeah, because he's Canadian. Yeah, that's fucking right. He's Canadian, yeah. and the syrup, right? <laughs> so oh, yeah, man. when when I saw that, I was just like, I was like, what? Now, okay, to be honest, I'm not buying the candle. I'm that, not, that's nice to know. I'm not buying the candle. I, you know, I was that was just just for just for the podcast purposes. You know, <laughs> okay. I actually have to buy two because I know I know I'm gonna just burn through the first one just um, nonstop. Sure. My room is gonna be so rank with the smell of her pussy; it's gonna permeate everything. Oh, you're gonna have to air my house out oh, for days. God, no, just no. By the way, uh, Phil Swinton went through a period of time where she didn't speak for five years. So, oh my God, her husband must have enjoyed that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> did, did she spend that time in the kitchen? <laughs> well, they do have like. Five kids, so... I mean, really? She does not look like she's had five kids. She's got a couple of kids, yeah. Um, Yeah, I mean, you're, you're saying you would go with Tilda Swinton, but not Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow, she, she's like she, she's like two cans away from being like the, <laughs> the, the, the merchandising version of Manson. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, let, let's see here. Uh, she didn't speak for five years. Um, she. Why are you trying to turn me off of, of Toilet Sweat? Just to see if you're going to maintain a standard. Because here. you want her for yourself. That's what it uh, is. I mean, she's. You... she's Okay. I mean, I do her, but. Mm-hmm. She slept in a glass box in a museum. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. She uh, drove a mobile cinema through the Scottish Highlands. To, uh, I guess, to display some of her films. What's a mobile cinema? I would assume just like a portable movie theater, right? Pro- oh. Probably like a drive-in kind of thing with like a screen. So, like, do you watch the movie while she's driving around town, or does she just drive to the town and set it up? I have no idea. Uh, let's let's see. Um... Yes. Um, I'm looking because like there's there's some interesting stuff, but yeah, oh, she pioneered the uh, the mobile movie theater. Oh, not bad. Yeah. So that's not weird. I don't know. She would drive a 35 ton vehicle, which unfolded to create a portable movie theater in a village, so the residents could watch films. Oh man, I I do hope that there was a sound effect attached to it so when the thing started to unfold, it went, because that'd just be the best. <laughs> I hope it sounded like uh, Optimus Prime transforming. <laughs> what, what transforming would you watch would that happen? I don't know, just various. Michael Bay. Oh, here she, uh, she tried to kill her own brother when she was four or five. Have you met her brother? No. He's an asshole. Uh, you haven't met him. <laughs> know this guy he was her younger brother yeah Tad Tad Swinton I know that fucker <laughs> Tad Swinton yeah him, I remember him when... and Sloan Kettering and Johnny Hopkins they were in the back like blazing that shit up all the time I remember when I was four or five I tried to kill my own brother she said in an interview I went into his room to kill him saw some ribbons from a bonnet going into his mouth and began to pull them out and I was discovered saving his life so I had this strange reputation as my brother's savior and no one knew I wanted to kill him so um, I'll tell you the story and it's kind of a funny story, but it's not really a funny story. And it's a true story. And it's kind of funny, but it's not really funny. And I really don't know why I'm telling this story. Um, but anyway, long time ago, um, I got into an argument with uh, with my uh, cousin, older cousin. And um, he said some shit that he was, I think he was teasing me, making fun of me or whatever, right? He said some shit that pissed me off. And I went into the kitchen to get a knife because I was going to stab that fucker, right? <laughs> so you're saying that because you also contemplated murdering a family member, 
that that's acceptable from Tilda Swinton. Hold on. Now I'm not done with the fucking story. I see where you're going with this. No, go, you don't. Go on. Please finish. So I came back. Tell me about killing your cousin. I came back with a spatula. <laughs> You're not very good at this, are you? <laughs> no, I came back because I was I was angry. But when I went in to grab the knife, I knew that I sh- that that was wrong. Like I like stabbing him was not something I should do. Right. But I still wanted to fucking hurt him. <laughs> okay. Okay. But the thing is, though, I went there specifically to grab something to kill that motherfucker. <laughs> It, but just something, some kind of presence of mind said, hey, don't do that. But I'm like, but I'm still fucking angry. Then take the spatula, right? <laughs> now, now you might think, oh, it's a spatula, right? But it's a metal spatula. So I can still whip the shit out of you with a metal oh, spatula. Oh, yeah, no. Getting, right? getting hit with a spatula would fucking hurt. And if you were hash browns, I would chop your ass off. <laughs> but the thing is, though, even when I think about it right now, I'm still like, yeah, I was pissed off enough that I was ready to stab that son of a bitch. Yeah, no, I've I've been mad enough for that. Uh, what, so what about um, she never just saying. she never answers her interviewers through standard means. They uh, GQ magazine tried to contact her through email, um, and she told them, "Please send me a message in a bottle, or tied to a pigeon, or even to the neck of my white hen, speckled Jim, who disappears every night." I think that's funny. It's funny, yes. I'm not disputing that. I also think Gwyneth Paltrow selling sex dust and vagina candles is funny. Well, you know what? And I hate to say this. I hate to say this because because it, it, it seems like I'm putting down certain people. These people being Brad Pitt, Chris Martin, Ben Affleck. But it sounds like vagina candles, sex dust. She just really needs to get fucked fucked really hard <laughs> and just like really like somebody is just not doing something maybe she's like super super kinky near like it's like we can't go that far we're sorry we just really can't go that far and so she's super repressed yeah you know but i'm just saying i mean you know whether it be you know mother sister nun all they need is some deep dicking right <laughs> uh, uh, but no i just uh i'm just saying but the whole message, the message in a bottle. I think basically it sounds to me like you're like, I don't want to answer your questions, GQ. I don't like you as a magazine, so I'm going to say something stupid like this. But like, her, what? Her email is set to automatically reply that she is not available to respond or read emails until the year 2070. So it's not just GQ magazine. I think that she's just weirdly hard to contact. Well, no, it, it doesn't say that she doesn't get the email. It just that's just the 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 automatic she response. She's that not going to read it. <laughs> It's what it says. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure she gets emails from people. Well, yeah, she has an email address. I'm sure she has more than one. And, and people that really need to contact her via email probably have the good email address. And everyone else, she gets the <laughs> other email address. Like, I've got, like, five email addresses. Like, my Yahoo email, I just have shit go to that one. Like, when there's something that, that you've got to sign up for this. We need your email address. Okay, sure. You can have the one to Yahoo. The yeah. one that whenever I go there, everything goes straight in the trash. Trash, 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 trash. Uh, she two-timed her longtime partner in 2008. She was, she was living with her longtime partner who was uh, the father of her twins. And uh, she was also dating the painter Sandro Kopp. Okay, again, why are you trying to turn me off of Tilda Swinton? I'm just seeing if you're going to be consistent here. Again, she's not leading some pseudo-sex cult. Promising, like, shit that, you, that's never going to come true. You don't know that. Dude, Gwyneth wasn't promising that to you. <laughs> if I decide to buy her stuff, she was. You, you don't have anywhere to stick that jade egg that'll work. We've already established that. And no, they, just, they didn't say it wouldn't work. <laughs> I said that I wasn't going to try it. No, she she is a professional gambler. That's cool. Um, I'll I'll fully support that. Um, she admits that she probably identifies as a woman, but she's all about the whole androgyny thing, which we've discussed. I'm I'm actually into her androgynous look. See, a lot of this is just like interesting stuff. It's not like crazy. 
Uh, she did, like, stand in as a David Bowie look-alike in a music video. I can see that. Yeah. No, she looks very much like David Bowie. Uh, she directed an opera video starring her dogs. Nice. <laughs> she has Springer Spaniels. You, you know we're doing a podcast here, right? Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, that's why I'm, like, pointing out all this stuff I'm learning about. Oh, she disapproves of Harry Potter. <laughs> she played as the White Witch, but, uh... Oh, she doesn't approve of it because it's not a realistic picture of boarding schools. So, you know. <laughs> these people are flying around on brooms and shooting, like, bolts of mana at each other to try to kill each other. But, you know, it's the fact that it's not a realistic depiction of boarding school is a problem. Where are you reading this at? MadeUpMonkShit.com? Ranker.com. Oh, Ranker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like I trust them. Oh, so, so now you're just trying an ad hoc attack on my sources. Your source in one place. That, I mean, they, come they, they on. They're, they're two clickmates away from being BuzzFeed. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, you might as well say it was fucking Gawker. Gawker. Yeah. <laughs> I read it on goop.com. <laughs> when it doesn't approve Tilda. <laughs> so, anyway. Anyway, so, yeah, that's, uh, so, so, so what I'm hearing here is that you just, like, cherry pick your standards. It depends. Oh, it's not cherry pick. <laughs> yeah, you just, yeah. Yes. She is crazy. Yes. Crazy. Yes, I'm not arguing with that. But you you said yourself, some of the stuff that that, that uh, Tilda has done, and you're like, eh, it's just kind of interesting or, you know. Yeah, like I didn't read that stuff to you. <laughs> so see, now who's cherry picking? It's just not relevant to my sources. Oh. oh. To, to, my, to my argument, I should say. <laughs> so it's not really so it doesn't help me make my point yeah so I'm just gonna discount it <laughs> I want it stricken from the record because it's devastating to my <laughs> argument so <laughs> strike you from the record <laughs> uh, oh by the way how big is that candle I don't know I'm, I'm definitely not looking that back up <laughs> I'm saying if, it, if it's like a tiny I'm not gonna pay $75 for a tiny little thing I, mean, I want something that's gonna burn for a couple hours it didn't look small it looked like one of the like tabletop candles one of those like big ones from you know that are probably like what 8 inches high something like that but I'm just spitballing and guessing there uh, but still that's a $75 candle that's a lot <laughs> Oh, yeah. That sounds kind of awesome. <laughs> the candle? Hmm? The candle? or are you just... I, 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 The only thing that's really stopped me from buying it is, well, apparently right now it's sold out. Yeah. <clears throat> in that I just need someone, someone to prove that, yes, this is what it smells like. This is, ac this is an accurate smell. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how you would verify that short of checking with her yourself. No, I mean, like, I mean, if, if if Chris Martin came out and he maybe he wrote, like, a, the next Coldplay song was, like, you know, about, you know, a burning candle and it reminds me of you, be like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's, you know, then so, I'll be like, yes. So here's what I propose you do, then, is just, like, DM this guy on Twitter and ask him how he would describe the scent. Oh, yeah, because that's what I need. I need to be blocked from Coldplay concerts. <laughs> Yeah, because I know you go to so many of them. I've been to two. Really? Yeah. Huh. I like Coldplay. Okay. Just because you've never been, that means you need to hate on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I, uh, I really enjoyed my the two concerts. They were both really nice. Sure. I don't think he'd be, like, barred from going to any more. Oh, I'm pretty sure he'd bar me. If I was like, hey, buddy, does this can really smell like your ex-wife's gunk? Right? <laughs> gunk. <laughs> <laughs> You've got other sources you can check out on. I mean, there's other people. What, Ben Affleck? Yeah. No, oh, yeah, because that'll work out so well. I mean, what, are you afraid you're not going to be allowed to go to Ben Affleck movies anymore? Probably. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm sure they'll blacklist you from all the theaters. 
or Brad Pitt. Those are the only people I know. I mean, I, I Brad Pitt would probably give you a pretty straight answer. Uh, maybe. Ben Affleck, I mean, it's kind of hard to trust somebody with a back tattoo like that. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to make fun of, of Ben Affleck. Um, he's got he's got some problems going on in his life, and I don't he, know him that well. He could, I mean, I mean, he could be a complete asshole for all I know. But I know he's got some shit going on. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like you know, I, uh, you know, I wouldn't wish attack him. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on him. But it's still a really bad tattoo. You just saying? <laughs> I'm so, I'm sorry. I just got to make a comment on this movie right here. The Tanya's Island, whatever this movie <laughs> is, where the woman's on an island. With, like, a guy and then some kind of, like, weird, like, like prehistoric man-creature thing. Yeah, kind of a troglodyte. Right. Which saved her from being raped by the guy. You see that? Yeah. Only to then rape her himself. And like, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. And you're like, oh, I dare you rape her. That's my job. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm like, what the hell is that? I mean, like, that's apparently just how things worked back in the caveman days, yo. Apparently so. I mean, that that just seemed historically accurate to me. And it was just weird, she was like, thank you, you saved me. Not quite. <laughs> oh man, no wonder this is like a freaking B-movie. <laughs> Oh, that, okay, so I Spit on Your Grave is, is, is they're showing like a scene from that, right? Yeah, the original yeah. I Spit on Your Grave. Um, have you, you know they've made some remakes. No, I've never heard of any of this. Okay. But you've, you've heard of the movie, right? No. You've never heard of I Spit on Your Grave? No. Nope. Oh my goodness. I'll have to talk to you about that off mic. Um, but anyway, it's all about this woman who gets attacked by these guys and they all, they, you know, um, you know, attack her. Right. Um, and then she later hunts each one of them down and kills them. Oh, that movie. Right. Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. Now, here's the thing I have to say about this movie, which is, if you've ever seen the cover art for it, for the box art. Right. The box art focuses on a woman's backside holding a knife. <laughs> the way you phrased that just makes it sound like she's got the knife clenched in her butt cheeks. No, no, that was that other movie. Yeah, <laughs> the, the one that uh, Fanboy Flicks reviewed. Mm. <laughs> Get some some spackle up in there, some gaffer's tape. So, so the thing is, it's all supposed to be about like these guys. They attack this woman, you know, and you, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to use the word that will, you know, we don't know. Well, how? we've already said it. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to say it again. Anyway, um... Is she, since, is she about to run him over in the water? She is. Um, but they do that, but but for the movie, instead of showing this movie about how it's a woman's revenge for, you know, these guys, you know, doing this horrific thing to her, instead it's like, oh, let's show this, this woman's sexy ass holding a <laughs> knife. They're like, well, wait a minute now. This is supposed to be about how... These guys got what was coming to them for being assholes, right. but the box art is going to show something that's like, ah, uh, I'm like, you, you yeah, you're not really like, quite sure what you're doing here. It makes it seem like it's a sexualized movie. Right. It's not supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have to ask, like, is every movie the same plot? Like, we, we just keep watching a revenge tale about something horrible? Because cause if that's the case, then you've got to watch the horrible part about it. It's like, oh my goodness, woman's getting brutalized. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to oh, pause there. Was... Because as soon as I saw that, I had to look at you. <laughs> oh god, I hate this. <laughs> so now it's showing clips from a movie called Taurus Trap. And it's a bunch of decapitated dummies and mannequin heads and shit. And I hate it. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> We're watching Fucking hell. <laughs> We're watching this. Shit! Look at this shit! <laughs> the fuck? God, no! Oh, man. All these topless mannequins falling over on this chick. Oh, God, I hate this. Yeah, that's, that's me right there. That's what I would do. Oh, man. 
Oh man! Oh, so all great. the hatred is falling off his face. <laughs> We're never, we're never gonna let that go. No, that was, <laughs> that was great. That was one of our best let's watches. Oh, he's making. He's gonna turn her into one. Oh, I thought he was putting shaving cream on her face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here I come out of water. What oh was... God, I I don't ever ever want to watch this. Yes, you do. Oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's probably running out of shaving dog, so he's oh. like, oh shit, no, god damn it, it's the same <laughs> fucking clip. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so awesome. Shit, oh no, no, <laughs> god damn it, no. <laughs> oh, same way. oh <laughs> Christ. Then look out for our less watch of tourist trap. It's just gonna be me saying this kind of stuff over and over. <laughs> fucking hell. God, why? <laughs> because you badmouth Tilda Swinton. That's uh, why. You badmouth Gwyneth Paltrow. She had it coming. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, weird is okay with me. I don't mind weird people. You were trying to get me to say weird was bad. No, I was trying to say, if you're gonna say it, then you have to be consistent with it. Mm. She's not weird. She's fucking goofy. Sure. <sighs> Whoever came up with Taurus Trap is fucking goofy. You get where I'm going with that, right? Uh, not specifically, no. Oh, it's just that it's that old joke uh, where like Mickey goes to his lawyer, Mickey Mouse goes to his lawyer, and um, and he's on to lawyer because he wants a divorce from from Minnie Mouse, and the lawyer says he's like, wait a minute. You want to divorce her because she's crazy? He goes, I didn't say she was crazy. I said she's fucking goofy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. Okay. <laughs> so, weird. I, that's the whole Minnie Mouse thing. It's something I don't understand about cartoons. Is like, why do so many cartoon characters just like bang things? Like female versions of themselves. Um, because Walt Disney was against like the interspecies uh, stuff. Like, well, no, I don't mean just like the species. I mean like Minnie Mouse is identical to Mickey Mouse, just with a bow. That's because they're all vain. Like the only really want to do is just fuck a female or male version of themselves. It's just a, it's, it's a weird... Now, Goofy's girlfriend is not like that. Yeah, that's true, because that's uh, Clara the Cow. She's a homely thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, because Goofy's such a real stud. And, and you know, and, and that, that's a bizarre pairing right there. Like, a dog fucking a cow. <laughs> and you, you know that, you know that, that, that Pluto... Is basically is basically like the Lenny of that world, because <laughs> he's a dog too, and he doesn't talk. He just barks, and it's like, oh, eh, eh, come on there, Pluto, we gotta go. Oh, and yeah, they, he's, and then Goofy's looking at him, is like, is that the that's the way you treat my people? I'm like really? <laughs> and he's he's he's, he's got to play along. He said, I mean, really, like, Goofy is basically like black people. Okay. He's, he's, and he's like, a, so Goofy and Pluto are basically like slaves. And the rest of them are, are like slave masters. Pluto has been like beaten and just subjugated down to, to nothing. And then Goofy's just like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, let's go, let's go there, Mickey. And then he's back and he's like, you fucking asshole. God, I see what, I see what you've done to Pluto. And I don't want that to happen to me. It's not like, I gotta play this there. Oh, go, gosh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And it's like, and you know, at home he goes and he's like, he's talking to Claire, but he's like, I hate myself. And it's like, it's, it's okay. It's just what you have to do right now. No, it's not right. It's not right. I don't want you to end up like Pluto. And it's like, but I'm not being real to myself. I'm not being true <laughs> and he's like ding dog you in there goofy oh hello M mickey I'm, I'm coming right out oh sure <laughs> my name's not even goofy it's marshall it's fucking marshall okay <laughs> it's marshall dog <laughs> oh, oh man oh what are, what time are we on um, oh we've almost been going for an hour really yeah 
No, that's the thing, man. Once you get inside Gwyneth's pussy, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna let that. Uh, ooh, just gonna let that go right there. Yeah. yeah. Well. Anyway, so I just to, just to recap, when I saw that article, I was just like, "What in the world?" And I I had to tell you about it. I was hoping. Yeah. I was hoping like I hope he has not read this or heard about this yet. And the fact that I was able to really surprise you with it was like the best part. Yeah, that was uh, that was the thing. All right, was that Twiggy? Well, I have no idea. There's some pulsating bosoms here. Is that Bill Cosby? Ooh, Probably. Hey, would you look at these women? Hold on, let's just see if one of these girls passes out, then that's Bill Cosby. Here I come! <laughs> Oh, this this is my left tit. <laughs> oh, I don't know my left from my right. <laughs> and the the one woman just when they showed the, the one glimpse of her, but I'm pretty sure it's not her in this movie. It looked like Twiggy. <laughs> you know, she was the uh, the uh, the woman that Elwood tried to pick up at the gas station. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like so, uh, if your date don't work out later. Um, maybe we can meet up at the motel. <laughs> well, well, he's stealing windshield wipers for no reason. <laughs> that wood's great. So yeah, so uh, this this was a strange one. Yeah, we didn't break. Uh, we need to, we we're, we're getting that. we're getting bad about that. But you know, somebody was so fixated on on Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina candle that they didn't start the stopwatch. So you know. Just, well, you know. to be fair, it's not just the candle. It's you know, just it's it's what the candle represents. <laughs> it's a candle and a vagina. The vagina candle. Order now. Is that such a thing? Sure, Turk. Sure. I'm just saying. You know, the candle's great and all, but if she ever comes out with her very own fleshlight, I was just about to say, <laughs> you you've heard of the fleshlight. Now get ready for the vagina candle. You know, but the one thing that will stop me from 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 buying the Gwyneth Paltrow fleshlight, go on, is that it would be fleshlight by Goop. And like, ugh, <laughs> ugh, it makes it sound like it's been pre-used. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. Yeah, I, I think we've talked about that on some other occasions. That uh, that that aspect of fleshlights are very troubling. Yeah, because they're always advertised as like dishwasher friendly. It's like I'm not gonna put that in the dishwasher nope <laughs> you know what would be horrible is you see somebody go up to somebody's house and everything it's like hey um it's like uh you might find something to drink no uh, they've got some clean glass in the dishwasher and, they, and you open it up and it's nothing but fleshlights and one glass oh no <laughs> no i would just i would just not drink i would just say you know i'll thirst to death thank you oh it's like V for Vendetta. It's like, thank you, but I'd rather be taken out behind the shed and shot. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> One day, you're going to come over, and, <laughs> and I'm going to get a bunch of flashlights. I'm going to put, I'm just going to fill the, <laughs> I'm just going to fill the dishwasher with them. Oh, God. And then when you say you need something to drink, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's some clean glasses in there. I'm going to put a little bit of Vaseline on the handle of the dishwasher. Oh, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> just sit back and watch the hilarity. No. God, no. Please, no. God. Oh. Hypernova ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep, yep. I, would, I would beat you three times over the next five years. <laughs> that would teach It'd you. be worth it. <laughs> oh. oh, so, tourist trap, huh? So, we're, uh... Yep, tourist trap. Doing a let's watch of that, huh? Yep. Got to do a let's watch a tourist trap. That looks so awesome. It does, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm gonna mostly be saying <laughs> all the bullshit that I was saying just now, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but we gotta watch dolls first. We do, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Which there were elements of that that were unsettling too. But... Oh, but you haven't seen the most of it yet. No, nah, no. Nah, Dolls is really good. Just the trailer. And the best part about Dolls is it's actually a British movie. Huh. So imagine low-budget British horror with Jeez. Dolls. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah, they don't they don't seem too awful because they're mostly just like stop motion, but like all that all that mess with the mannequins, that was just a big fucking no way. It's like plants like when I'm playing Fallout, you know, I go into a place and there's like the mannequins just sitting there. Like sometimes they're just there in like the weirdest they're dressed up or they'll be like in positions and stuff. Oh god. It's no. bizarre. I can't stand it. I can't stand going there. God no, I hate it. Yep. I hate that kind of thing so much. I like now that the mannequins uh you find do you see mannequins um and they're they're not all they're not all uh realistic looking. Right. I like that. But I, I still don't understand why and no one can explain to me why they make female mannequins with hard nipples. Yeah, I've never quite gotten that. I'm like like what Okay, if you are advertising or like a blouse or right. something in which you have to say, you know what? We really need to show how good this looks when your nipples are hard. <laughs> your clothing may not really need something like that to sell it. Right, yeah. You know, like, oh, oh let's, let's go to Stripper's Clothes R Us. And you're like, okay, yeah, but, <laughs> but how does this look, this sheer top look with hard nipples? Oh, no, no, that, that doesn't that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't give the right version of sex appeal. And, <laughs> it looks like Harlan. I'm really going for a slut. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, what, what do you do? Or, or is it the show like like a bra? Be like, now look, let's see the hard nipples on this mannequin here. Let's see with this bra. I can't see their nipples are hard at all. <laughs> exactly. No more embarrassing meetings. <laughs> yeah, that that I can see making sense. But like, yeah, no, I've I've never quite gotten it. Doesn't really matter how cold it gets. No one will be able to tell with this bra. <laughs> I don't I don't get that. Because imagine, let's just, just flip the script here and imagine if they made like mannequins, like male mannequins, like a like a big bulge in the front. <laughs> See so how like, good these pants are for the Texas tuck. Yeah, it was like, oh, wow, that, that really makes that package look twice as big. I know, right? <laughs> but like this, we've got this, we got this, this, this tight panel in the front here. Oh my goodness. It's like. When I wear those pants, I look like a Ken doll. Exactly. <laughs> Which I can see marketing to like 14 and 15 year olds. You know, when you get those weird like boners in school. Oh, and be no like, reason boners? Those yes. the worst. Like, no, but I'm saying you wear like like the ones that hide it. Yeah. Be like, hey, now I can get hard in the middle of class and get up in front of everybody and no one knows. Yeah, because you always have that moment of like, will you please come up and demonstrate this problem on the board? And it's like, oh God, <laughs> this is a bad time. And your dick is like, she was talking to me. But like, no, she wasn't. <laughs> it's like, I'm ready. Send me in, coach. Like, will you please just go away? <laughs> no one's talking to you. Oh, God, yeah. No, no reason boners are the absolute worst. Ugh. Absolute worst. You know what I hate is when a, when a no reason boner is mistaken for a confused boner. Yeah, yeah, that can be a problem. Yeah. But like, oh, I just got one for like the weirdest reason, you know, just like for no reason. All of a sudden someone's like, oh, did that turn you on? I'm like, no, no, I don't know why this happened. It's okay. You can share your feelings with me. No, I don't want to share anything with you. Not my feelings, not this boner, nothing. It just, I mean, it's just a girl with a horse, but. I'm just here. I'm just going to go home in about 15 minutes. As soon as this thing goes away, I'm getting up and leaving. <laughs> Oh, yep, yep, those are uh, no fun at all. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's a shame. That really is a shame. How, when you're young, you get these, like, these random, like, boners or whatever, and you're like, I don't want one now. But when you grow up and, like, you want one, it's like, <laughs> yeah, no, not today. <laughs> not know, today, Zerd. It, it, used to, it used to be, you know, like, you would just pop up anytime you wanted to. That was then. I've matured. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, no, it, it's like, yeah, now when I really need you, you're not there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that really sucks too. I mean, women don't have that problem. Like, <laughs> no reason hard nipples. But like, when I want my nipples to hard, get hard, where are you now? <laughs> like, it's like, Susie, can you come solve this problem up on the board? Oh, jeez. Now my nipples are hard. <laughs> 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 what 
walking with arms across her chest. <laughs> Miss, I, I, I'm sorry, Miss Wilson. I, I just need to. I, you gotta go to the bathroom. No, they don't have to worry about that. But yeah, yeah. So unfair. <laughs> so unfair. I mean, women have it so lucky. I mean, I can't just sell a candle that smells like my dick. I mean, I could. <laughs> I don't think anyone would want to buy it, though. No, the problem is there's no way I could possibly meet the demand for that kind of stock. Okay, so, I, I see, I was going to I was gonna get off this, right? But now you're getting me back on it. Um, okay, so here's the thing. When, you, when you're when making it, like, okay, we've, we've got the candle here, you know, tell me, does this smell accurate? So I can only imagine, like, she's got the candle in one hand, and, she's like, and then she's like, what 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 is she comparing the smell to? Right, yeah. Like what? There's got to be a a third party involved here. Yeah, but can you really tr can you really trust them? I mean, I think objectively, if I could have the candle right beside the actual thing, I could tell you how close to the match it is. No, I'm saying for you, like this is your you're putting this out there. You're saying that it smells like that. Don't you want to be able to say, yeah, for definitively, like, yep, that's what it is. Well, I'm not that flexible. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, how does, how does she know? That's, that's where I'm saying the third party has to come in here. Either she's completely making shit up, which doesn't sound at all possible with her. Or she's got some, some non-partial third party who's able to say, yes, I'm comparing the two side by side. I don't know. I'm willing to go with the first one that it's probably just a crock of bullshit. Probably. I just gotta find something else to spend my $75 on. <laughs> I mean, if you were that desperate to get rid of the $75, I can help you out with getting rid of it, but... I'm pretty sure there's nothing you have that I want to burn. It mm, smells like a Comey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, I mean, we're friends and all, but you know, that line's a line. <laughs> oh, God. Well, this, this one has uh, spiraled down some very unfortunate rabbit holes. This one has started off in some very unfortunate rabbit holes. Hey, dude, I'm just reporting on the news, man. I didn't make this shit up. This was, like, a fairly recent thing, too, because that news article I was reading off of was six days old. Yep. So, I mean, this is, like, super current. You lived your life like a pussy candle in nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, and I, 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 okay, I can say one more thing. Okay. You can say everything you want about me and be like, oh, Turk, but it's like, why? What? You Really? You would do this? But what's the first thing you told me when you read that article? Which part? When you're reading the article and you're like, blah, 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 and you said, oh, seems like you're out of luck, Turk. It's... Oh, it's sold out. Thank you. So apparently I'm not the only person that was like, I have got to get a piece of this. You know, people have been using that kind of thing for justifications, and now just look at, like, all the furry movements and stuff like that. That's, this is, this is why the world is where it is. Uh, no, what I'm saying is that you're sitting there making fun of me, like, really, you would spend your money on that? <laughs> but I actually haven't spent not a dime. Only but, because you can't. <laughs> right, but that also means somebody else being, I don't know how many of them they made, right? But apparently they're sold out of all of them. So I wasn't the only person that had like a a strong interest in this. I'm just saying. I, I feel I'm pretty like... sure that 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 Ben Affleck's garage is not filled with these candles <laughs> <laughs> while he's like he's listening to the way we were like on repeat, like, burning the candles. I'm just saying. I mean that 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 line of thinking is like the people who get on to deviant art and they're like, oh, you see, I'm not the only person who wants to clap cheeks with a rabbit person. So, I guess I'm not a weirdo. This is actually kind of normal. Except for, it's not like they're, like that, that DeviantArt has like, oh, it's a limited number of likes. And then after that, like you can't, no one else can like it. They had a limited supply, and they sold out very quickly. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just saying, it's not, it's like, it sold out like right away. 
So, yeah, so there were some people that, like, as soon as they heard about it, they were like, I gotta have it. It's kind of weird just how trusting people are with that, too, isn't it? See, I wasn't. I was skeptical. That's true. And now you've missed your opportunity. Well, and not really. If they were like, yes, it is like, like, I don't know that I missed my opportunity because it may not smell like that at all. It may not. Probably not. And, you know, smells are subjective. Kind of like that, that whole, like, what color is a dress kind of thing, right? It'd be yeah. like, you know, to you it smells like berries and, and you know, <laughs> hibiscus and, and eucalyptus. <laughs> But to, to, but to me, this smells like Yanni. Right. <laughs> but to someone else, you know, it, it could smell like, yeah, I don't know, like... Laurel. Like, great, like green moss and alfalfa. Like, I don't know. <laughs> God, can you imagine? <laughs> this candle smells like my vagina. It's scented with peat moss and raisins. It's like, what? what? <laughs> Wait, it's like, oh my God. This candle smells like a hot garbage fire. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> this, this smells like somebody set a hay bale on fire. What the hell? <laughs> yeah! Now you got it! <laughs> oh. All right, well, I think we should probably wrap this one up. <laughs> this has gone some disturbing places. <laughs> Hey, again, not my fault. I'm just reporting on the news. I trusted you to come up with a topic, and you gave me a vagina candle. Oh, please, please, I call, I call me. Stop! <laughs> no, 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 please, don't, don't hit me just because I have psoriasis. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're saying you're saying what about my about my topic? Please, please, please go on. Mine was funny. <laughs> I mean, this was funny too. Yeah. Okay. But mine was funny in a different way. Yeah. So, just for everyone out there, in case you were wondering, yes, we are going to release a text-based version of this podcast. <laughs> Yes, go on again. Tell me how cheap my podcast topic was. <laughs> Mr. Landamu. Landamu. <laughs> Mr. Hypernova. Yeah, I, I like internet cringe. Yeah. At least it didn't start off with like, like, hey, do you like the new smell in my house? And like all the candles I've been burning? How's that smell? He was like, it smells like... He smells really great here. He's like, oh, what you're smelling is Gwyneth Grab Paltrow's vagina. Like, what? <laughs> what? It's like, oh, you're soaking in it. I mean, <laughs> oh, God. The Paul Mollif commercial. What are you talking about? I, I never want to associate, like, soaking in it with the scent of a vagina again. I wasn't. I was, I was jumping tracks to a whole different commercial. Sure, yeah, that's what you were doing. God. Whatever. Anyways, so... Uh, my nose. It's my favorite fruit. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm doing another commercial. Yeah, no, it's two can't obviously. Sam. Right, totally. Well, hey, thanks for giving us a listen, folks. This was uh, enlightening. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, and by the way, we do accept gifts. So <laughs> if you happen to have bought any candles lately and you want to send them to us as gifts because you really like what we do on this show... We will be more than accepting, and we will thank you very much on the show, and we will we will use those candles. You know what? I'll I'll say this. I think Turk needs some jade eggs sent to him, so yeah, those those aren't sold out. Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll give him a spin. Why not? Give him a spin. All right. Well, yeah. So I I think we're gonna I think we're going to uh, call this an episode. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just I'm just caught off guard by this the scenes we're seeing from the Devil's Wedding Night. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think it's a I think it's a, it's a good episode. We're uh. Um. Well, I don't say it. it's an episode. How's that? <laughs> it's an episode. <laughs> Uh, we've done worse because we've we've done ones that like we don't even want to post. So that is true. So yeah, no, this is uh, this is an episode. This is an episode. <laughs> right. Well, thanks once again, everybody. Uh, be sure to uh, check out some of our other stuff. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you can find all kinds of really fabulous products for you and your home and health on goop.com. Goop. Send, send magical sex to us, please. Oh, yeah. Later, everybody. To the windows, to the walls, to the goop drips off my balls. <laughs> <laughs>